What up fam, and welcome back to our channel. I'm Deb. Before we get into much day, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to be notified we drop monstrous eats like these. Welcome back, it's such a treat. Great play fam. Come on, let's eat. Let's get a video to 1K likes. We ain't gonna complain if you get into more. Without further ado, shall we pray? Father God, we thank you for everyone that's joining us today. We pray that the hands that prepare the food as well as the hands that harvest the food are blessed, as well as those that come in. Regardless of their mood and temperament when they arrive, we hope that it's uplifted by the time they depart us. We'd also like to thank you for the time they share with us because especially during these busy times of the year, every second is always valuable. Nevertheless, during these also strenuous holiday seasons. So we thank you for those that are joining us and giving us their time because they don't have to, but yet they choose to. So in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 What we got for y'all today? We got a monstrous cowboy steak. Don't remember how many the size of it, so not even gonna lie. Let me do this first. Cut the sound, kind of get annoying to me too. So now we're back. Let me tell y'all something. Today, I'm going to eat, but I'm not really going to go all the way in. Because tomorrow, being our anniversary, I have no idea what all we're going to do. But we are departing today. So, going to kind of take a light. So that if we do anything this evening, I'm still. How y'all doing out there, family? It's been a minute, huh? Being a homeowner during these times is definitely hard with finding good workers. So I've been doing a lot of things myself. which although I'm capable, being new to it, takes time. Mm. Like replacing pipe work, flooring, plywood, installing insulation. While not impossible, I think that I now have to learn I can make sure that what I'm doing is up to par code and standard. Because although the intent is to keep the home and the family with how life happens, you never know. So I don't want to put us in the position to where doing things around the house in order to make living more bearable and comfortable affect the overall utility of the home.
my old lady cook this steak to perfection for me. When I get about halfway through, probably have a dessert or something. And then sit and talk a bit until my cousin arrives. The OG OGs know of my cousin Bob, although you guys never saw him. You'll definitely remember. So the real OGs know. My cousin Bob, all the guys may have never laid eyes on him. Unfortunately, I took so long to do the things that I needed to do in order to be before you today that it ran over into time. So he's pulling up at any moment. And we see each other like every Two, three weeks so unfortunately guys as soon as that brrr, it's gonna be like that I had to put the knife down because trying to be funny and illustrate at the same time doing dangerous things with cutlery in my hand. So what shall I do until I do? Excuse me. Have you been able to get all of your holiday shopping done? If not, is it only one store that you have to go to next? Or do you still have to go to a few locations? Where was I? Oh yeah. Where are you on your holiday shopping? And were you prepared enough to do it in advance to where now you really don't need the little on end things. We try to get things throughout the year so that during this time it's not as migraine inducing. Get rid of this fat out the back. So I have no idea how far into the video we are, but I'm about to take a quick pause to get me a beverage and to get me a dessert. So I will be back in just a moment.
how many out there out tongue twister how many of you out there have tried the winter spiced cranberry flavor so today we're going to be having some carrot cupcakes with some cream cheese icing on them got them from Publix not homemade from eating meat, but they are prepared from um uh, with love. I can't say how they prepare because I was gonna say from from scratch, but I don't know if any steps are cut, so I'm just gonna say that they are homemade. Well. They fresh. Yeah. Take that bottom off. Make you a good sandwich. Has anyone out there had like pumpkin cupcake or pumpkin pound cake or pumpkin cake before? And if you have, what do you compare it to? Carrot cake has definitely been one of my top three faves as far as cakes go. Well, flavor profiles. That was too good, y'all. I know I said that a lot, but when I say something too good, for me, that means it's a struggle for me to not get more. So that's a little bit of my lingo, my code wording. If Dale say it's too good, that means I need to do it like this. Otherwise, I'm going to crack it open and get some more. So I have to res I have to maintain self discipline when I say something is too good. That's what that means. Especially when some food is cooked and prepared with love. <clears throat> Excuse me. It shows up in the food. So, food can be a dangerous kind of delicacy to dab dabble in. Because when it's truly good, that's the hardest time to maintain self-control when some food is really, really, really good. I don't care how much stuff you got planned and how much stuff you know you got to do. Even especially when you know that I just gonna sit in like, ooh, I'm ready to go to sleep, y'all. But at this point, honestly, for me, it was enough to be a snack because this maybe was about three pounds. I trimmed a little off, so I ate maybe three quarters of a pound. I didn't have, I had some potatoes off of the camera. There was some cut up yellow potatoes. So, <laughs> excuse me. I had a few of those off camera, but overall it's about a pound and some change left. So I did pretty good. Pretty. It's enough to where this was a good lunch. I can still have a light dinner and not feel super stuffed nor bloated. Before. Let me see, is there anything else I gotta? Mm. Oh yeah. Vlogs are going to start back dropping soon. Although we have not been uploading vlogs, I have been recording, 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 recording. But with all the things that we've been having going on, it's been difficult to access the now new main computer that has 
the primary large storage on it for us to be able to really edit. So be on the lookout because vlogs are going to start back dropping soon. And you probably about more liable to catch us over there than over here. It'd be a struggle to eat, think about a conversation, carry on a conversation when it's not something that you're typically used to. Now, while I did have struggles growing up when it came to eating, I'm used to eating and not talking at all. So for me, even if I'm eating on camera, I ain't really got to talk because I didn't grow up around a dinner table where, hey, how was your day? Oh, that's what you did at school? Okay, okay. Oh, that happened at work? All right. What about you? What happened to, what happened to your door today? I didn't have that growing up. I can probably count on not even these many hands. Well, <clears throat> excuse me. Let me clear that up. I can't count on this many fingers how many times I ate a meal at a table outside of a holiday. Now, for me, even though you guys aren't here, this is more like a family eating vibe to whereas conversation is had around the dinner table compared to don't talk while you're eating because we from the South. We from Alabama, like Alabama, Alabama. Talking in especially the black community, that is not something that you do. Let's be honest and let's be real here. So that's that when it comes to the eating and the talking dynamic. Cause y'all almost missed me today. After I ate those potatoes, I was like, you know what? Ooh, this steak finna be so good. But I know the fam has seen or heard from us in a while, so I need to touch down, touch base with y'all. Because we love preparing the food, but we ain't gotta we ain't got always eat, nor are we always in the mood to eat. So that's why it's going in overdrive trying to get our food preparation haven back up and running. Because right now it's it's discombobulated, deconstructed, and in complete disarray. I have kept y'all long enough, fam. So, sadly, we have come to that point in the video where we must let you guys go. So, until next video, love you guys. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Be the light for someone else to emulate because you never know what your kind words and gestures could do for the next person day. And we out you. I'm finna prank jazz, y'all.